Your photos suck. In this video, we are going over a ton of photos I took over the past three or four years. We're going to review them and see what was actually good or bad about them. We're going to judge these photos on the seven most important different subjects, which in my opinion, make for either a good or a bad photo. These subjects are composition, balance, color grading, lighting, subject, background, and storytelling. A photo doesn't have to tick all of these boxes to be good. If it only ticks a few of them, it can also be a very good photo. So now let's get into the judging part. So the first photos we're going to discuss are actually a couple of portrait photos. And in this portrait photo, for example, it's just pretty obvious what sucks already. Just look at the colors over here. It just looks really bland, like the color is sucked out of it. I almost took away all of the colors in this photo of my girlfriend over here. Her skin colors really look pretty off. It's pretty obvious that I tried to force some kind of color grade into this that actually didn't work and didn't suit this photo. Also the movement of her hand over here is pretty weird. Overall it's just a really bad photo. In the next photo we have over here something really stands out immediately and that's this really ugly freaking background it just it really doesn't suit a photo and yeah it's just it's just not interesting it, it really makes for a boring photo and besides that we can really see that the sun was actually pretty harsh with the lighting if you look at her legs over here it really looks like it's overexposed and then we also have this light hitting her face which is pretty good but the dark side yeah it Overall, just a really bad photo. It just, it just doesn't click. The color grade overall is bad. Then we have this photo right here. And even though the location is really beautiful and it really suits her well, I think that I really screwed up the color grading. I mean, the color grading really works well for the background over here. But as you can see on my subject, I made her a little bit too brownish or too, yeah, I don't know, golden. It just looks a little bit too fake. So that's why, in my opinion, the photo didn't work that well. Also, the facial expression could be a bit better. This photo right here is actually one of my favorites of the trip in terms of portrait photos. But as you can see, I cut her feet off right here, which actually isn't really good. And over here, a part of this rose is also cut off. So I think the location worked pretty well, even though this window over here looks pretty ugly. The flowers and then my girlfriend sitting over there just makes for a great photo overall in my opinion. In this photo we actually have a really cool composition because we can see this leading line over here and then we have this circle shape. But what really bothers me about this photo is just that the lighting was so freaking bad. We shot this in harsh sunlight and because of that I couldn't really get too much dynamic range out of the photos. And that's why you actually also see that the color grading is just it's just really awful. There is like no really color and detail into it. Everything just seems so washed out and yeah, that's what really ruins the photo for me. If we would have shot this at another time of the day, the photo would have been way better. <laughs> this photo over here is also a pretty obvious one. The location isn't that bad, even though this clock over here takes away the distraction from looking at her face. But then again, looking at her face isn't that good either because I really ruined the color grading over here. She really looks like some kind of ghost. And you'll see in the next couple of photos when we're discussing the good photos that I've really improved my color grading, especially on portrait photos. In the beginning, I was really a big fan of this photo because we have this cool tree as a foreground element. And then we have these reflections of the houses over here. And yeah, I thought it was pretty cool, but when I look back at it right now, I can see that there is this really ugly construction on this house going on. That really, yeah, it just ruins the photo. And also, there's not really a lot of balance in this photo because this tree right here takes up for a huge, huge amount of the photo. It's like one third of the photo. And yeah, that just makes for not such a good composition. and your eye is more drawn to this tree than to the 
rest of this photo. The same goes for this photo. I was actually a really big fan of this photo because we have this leading lines over here and a composition that's actually pretty cool. But what really bothers me about this photo is the fact that this right here isn't really that interesting. If this would have pointed at something way cooler like one specific subject, this photo would have been way cooler. But I think that the fact that it was pointed towards a not so interesting subject, well made for the fact that it's not such a good photo. In this photo right here, yeah, it just looks like, yeah, we just took a quick snap, a picture in the, in the forest, in the woods. And the background isn't really that special. It's pretty boring. And also if you look over here, the lighting also isn't that good. And yeah, the color grading overall, I really tried to force some cyan, some teal highlights into the photo and you can really notice that. I think the color grading overall is pretty bad. The same goes for this photo, especially in this photo, you can see that the lighting is really bad. She has like this kind of raccoon eyes under here, over here as well. Overall, just a bad photo. The background also isn't really that good. This photo right here is one of the central train station of Belgium. And what I don't like about this is the fact that I just composed it so badly. I cut off like this upper part, which makes the photo look ugly. And I really color graded it in such a yeah, colorless way. Again, I really wanted to force the blue highlights into this photo, as you can see over here, over here, over here. And yeah, it just doesn't look that good. And also the fact that we have this guy walking over here. And the photo also is like not that straight. I have a way better photo of this location. You'll see that later. In this photo over here, I tried to compose these buildings in between all these tree branches. But what you can immediately see is the fact that the photo is way too dark. The subject in the middle is way too dark. And also these tree branches are like extremely dark. It's, it's not such an interesting photo. Even though the composition isn't that bad, the photo is way too busy. And the subject over here is not light enough and it's not interesting enough. <laughs> Even though I took this photo with my DSLR, it looks like I just shot it on an iPhone. And even with an iPhone, you could say that the photo could have been way better. Because what really ruins this photo is the fact that this was shot in harsh daylight. The sun, yeah, it was just casting all over these rocks. It just looked really awful. There wasn't really a lot that I could do with this photo. And that's what also made this color grading really bad. And also this random boat over here that doesn't really add to this photo. The overall composition is pretty bad. Then we have this photo of Prague over here, which was actually one of my favorite photos in the pod. But when I look back at it, the thing that I don't really like is the fact that I left these tree branches in here. And I think that, yeah, they distract from actually looking at the subject itself. What I actually did like about the photo is the fact that we have these cool reflecting orange lights of these buildings in the water over here. But then again, because of the color grade and because I made it a bit warmer, you can see that these birds also turned orange and they aren't actually true to color. And this over here, I, I should have removed those birds, I think, over here as well. It's a bit too busy. If I would have removed all these items, I think this photo would have been way, way better. Then we have a pretty obvious one why it's bad. This is a photo of a buddy of mine and it's just shot at night. And at night it's really, really difficult to shoot like good portraits of people. The lighting overall is just really bad. It's, it's really unflattering. You can also see that there's this weird color grade going on. His skin colors aren't really true to real life. And then we also have this really annoying background over here that has this kind of shape that really distracts from the image in my opinion. If this would have been right behind him, like this, I think that would have been way better because that would have put the emphasis on his face and then the composition overall would have been way better and our eyes would have been drawn to his face. So the first good photo is a street shot of a cool looking guy. He has a really cool outfit over here. He's just chilling and drinking a beer. He's also smoking. And then we have this lantern pole to which he's leaning on. And the reason why this works so well is because we just have this 
leading line over here and we have this shape. You could also say that this is a triangle shape. This just really draws your eyes to this image. And also because we have no distractions over here, we have a lot of negative space. Yeah, that just makes for a really good photo. The next photo is actually one of a Ferris wheel. And I think it looks pretty cool because you can't really tell on first sight that it's a Ferris wheel. It looks like some outer space spaceship or something. And because of the negative space over here and even the darker side over here and the lighter side over here, we have some very good contrast in this photo. And our eyes are immediately drawn to our subject over here. And that's just yeah, a good photo in general. And also the darker, the moodier color grading. This photo right here is a pretty minimalistic one. But if you've been following my channel, you know I'm a sucker for blue hour. And the reason why is because you can really make those blues really pop beautifully. Especially if you also have orange colors in your photos. You can really complement it yeah, just so perfectly like teal and orange. Almost everyone loves it. And this is exactly the reason why I love it so much. And also this photo is a pretty minimalistic one. We just have a clear standing subject over here and all the rest is negative space. And that's one of the things that really makes for a really good photo. In the next photo right here, we have this beautiful portrait of my girlfriend. And the reason why I like this one so much is because the lighting is just very good in this one. And also because we have these leading lines of, of this pathway. And because of these leading lines, your eyes are really drawn to your subject, which is over here. Yeah, it's just a pretty good portrait overall because the background isn't distracting and it really complements our subject. This portrait photo has to be one of my favorites I took of my girlfriend. It was actually just simply shot in a bedroom and the light was hitting her face beautifully from the window. Yeah, the lighting is just so great. Her eyes, as you can see, pop really well because she has these beautiful blue eyes and we have some great contrast in this image. Because she had this like lighter brown tint jacket over here and we have this like same color in the background but then just way darker. Yeah, it just complements this photo perfectly. And also the fact that she has this like hair knot almost in the same color as her eyes just ugh, makes for a very, very good portrait. The same over here. We also shot this one in the bedroom and just, yeah, look at her eyes. They really pop so beautifully. And again, the same things, like I said before, everything is just so complimentary. Her visual expression is also really good. This is a pretty cool drone shot that I made in the summer. And why this one works that well is because we have these leading lines and just a clear subject and a shape over here. And the fact that we have quite some contrast going on. So this part over here is way darker. And it also has this like darker color as well, like this orange. And over here we have this green blue color and that really complements this more orange color. And the fact that this part of the image is way lighter, yeah, it's just, there's some perfect color contrast going on over here. The, the composition is also really good and the subject is also interesting. So earlier we had this same picture, but just way worse composed and the color grade was just really awful. This photo works way better because it shot at a wider focal length. And also the fact that, yeah, the colors are just way warmer. There's just more orange in the edit. And that's also why it works way better because the colors are more true to life. And besides that, we also have all these shapes over here which just really make for a really cool, interesting photo. It's just a really cool architectural piece. And for some reason, this photo doesn't even look too busy, even though there's like a lot of different shapes over here. And the color contrast and like the lights and the darks, everything is just, yeah, it's just, in my opinion, it's perfect. In this next photo, we have a pretty cool composition of this like pretty cool structure over here. And then I assume that it's his dad and a son and the son wants his father to follow him. And that's why I really like this photo so much because I feel like it really adds to the storytelling aspect. And also the fact that we see the contour of the dad and his son, even though these buildings over here are a bit distracting. This photo right here is one of my all time favorites. I got it even printed on the wall. The fact that 
there's just this cool leading line of these rocks leading to our subject over here, which is this car which was standing there. I mean, I was lucky for it to stand over there because it really made the photo more interesting. And we also have the fact that this was shot at almost sunset. And yeah, we have these really cool blues that I could get out of the photos. And then this darker orange tones. So we have a great color contrast of orange and blue. And then also a great color contrast because of the light parts and the darker parts. And we also have these cool waves crashing against the dark rocks, which just yeah, made the photo really cool overall. Over here, we have a pretty cool car shot. And what I like about this one so much is the fact that the lighting was just perfect. This was shot at sunset, I think. And we also have this cool triangle shape over here, which draws our attention to the car, which is obviously really cool because that's the most important subject in the photo. And I think that the colors and just the car in general really fits this background and this scene really perfectly. Over here we have a portrait again. <laughs> As you can see in comparison to my other portrait photos, this one is just way better. Because first of all, the lighting is just extremely good. This photo was shot during sunset and we see these beautiful highlights in her eyes and hitting this part of her face. And at the same time, we have this more darker part over here, which also, yeah, just adds some contrast. And then I added a beautiful golden color grade to it. And then we have these muted blues in the background. And we have this really cool background, I think, which really complements her outfit because it really complemented the location we were at, which was Fuerteventura. So yeah, pretty good image. This photo right here is also <laughs> one of my all time favorites because there's some good contrast going on in this photo and also due to the fact that it shot during blue hour. And we have this really cool blue over here. And in this book right here, I added like a little aperture ALMC. And this was casting this orange light onto her face. And it just really gave for a pretty cool image. And even though this book over here doesn't really add to the image, and it's actually weird that she's doing this pose with this book in her hands. For some reason, I think that if you don't overthink it too much, it actually makes for, yeah, it, ju it just really makes for a good portrait photo. What I'm seeing right now is that this thing right here was my bookmark and that it really ruins the photo. But I just noticed it right now. Here we have another beautiful portrait of my girlfriend. And one of the reasons why this photo works so well is because we have this tree above her with some beautiful red flowers. And we also have this color red over here in the car, which just really complements the photo. And then we have my beautiful girlfriend over here, which was actually in a motion. So she was just walking and playing with her hair and taking photos while your subject is actually doing something usually makes for a way better photo than usual because it looks way more natural. I could have removed this thing over here because it may be a bit distracting, but overall I think it was a pretty good photo and I was really happy with it. I was a really big fan of this street photo as well. And the reason why it's obvious is because we have this really harsh light coming from this side and then we have these shadows over here. And it makes this cool split between light and shadows. And what this does is that it draws our eyes to our subject, which is really important in photos. And then we also have these like darker parts over here and over here, which tells our eyes that we have to look at this part of the image. This photo was also shot during harsh daylight, but for some reason I could get some really good colors out of it. And the fact that it was also some pretty, and the fact that it was also a pretty good geometrical and like symmetrical architectural piece also really helped because we actually have this arrow shape over here. Just a good, minimalistic, simple but beautiful photo. The same for this photo over here. We have some cool geometry going on over here. We have this triangle and then we also have this line over here. And then we also have all these symmetrical windows. It's also just a really cool, beautiful, architectural, but minimal photo. This photo plays more of a part of the storytelling aspect, as you can see, as this woman asks this man probably what the train is departing at. And also the composition isn't that bad either because I framed the subject in between these lighter and darker lines. So we know that we have to look at this part 
the image. Also another one of my favorite portraits. On this shoot we were really lucky to have <laughs> found this sunflower and it really added some great dynamic to the shoot. And it was such a great prop. And then I had my girlfriend standing over here on the rocks and I think that this photo worked pretty well because I added some blue highlights over the whole image and you can also see it in the rocks over here, over here, over here. And then we also have some great contrast between darker areas and like lighter areas. And yeah, it's just pretty clear that our subject is over here. Maybe the photo would have even been better with a little bit less foreground like this maybe. But then again, I think that this crop adds more negative space to the photo, which also makes it look pretty good. Over here we have a pretty cool drone shot, actually one of my favorites. It looks like all my photos are my favorites, but they aren't, trust me. <laughs> but yeah, this one, why it works well, it's pretty obvious. The composition is just pretty good because we have this cool shape over here. And over here we have these lighter oranges. And on the outside we have like these dark greens. So there's some great color contrast and composition going on in this photo. This photo was actually one I took a long time ago, but I actually still really like it because this was shot at a really beautiful architectural train station and there's just so much geometrical lines going on. I mean, it's just endless. And even though this photo is pretty busy because we have these lines over here, this place over here is actually pretty eye-catching because it looks like all these lines are drawing our attention towards here to this open space and to these people and also to this guy i mean these lines are drawing our eyes to this guy and so we have actually two subjects in the photo and you may say that that's not always good but in this photo it really works. In this photo right here I framed up this building between a man walking past. So I actually shot between his legs. <laughs> and also the color grading is pretty good and we have these orange lights popping over here and drawing our attention towards there. And yeah it's just, it's just a pretty good minimal photo overall with a clear subject. This photo was shot in Thailand from a boat and we have a clear subject over here, which are these boats. And why this is actually a good photo, because we have these leading lines that actually draw our attention towards these boats. And we're also pretty lucky with like the weather circumstances and the fact that I could get some really cool blue, greenish uh, colors out of the water and also on the rocks over here. And the fact that this is like a darker side and this is a lighter side also really helps for contrast in your image. This photo right here is also a pretty good one I think because there are quite some shapes going on in this image. First we have this triangle over here, then we have my girlfriend which is also making a triangle with her leg and then we also have this this tree over here and all of these shapes and things yeah they, they just made the photo way more interesting. And the fact that she's laying on this big tree, like pretty cool and in a pretty sensual manner, it just really works well with the photo. And this photo really works well in the storytelling aspect, I think, because we have a really clear subject, which is this man who just went shopping and he's going back to the train probably to go home again. Then we have a beautiful photo of the central train station of Antwerp once again, but this time from the outside. And why this one works really well is because it's shot at blue hour and there are also these really beautiful orange lights coming from the building. So, so the time of the day at which you shoot is also really important to make your photos even look better. Then we have this typical influencer photo of me standing over here. But I think it looks pretty cool because of this architectural piece above me. And we have these really cool geometrical lines and shapes. This part behind me is like really dark and I'm wearing like this yellow tee and this really makes me pop out and stand out from the background and give me more of this 3D effect. And up here we also have some light elements again which I think really add to the balance and the great composition of this photo. Over here we have another pretty cool drone shot and 
Yeah, it just works because we have this really clear subject over here, which is this pathway that's actually way lighter compared to the background over here. So again, we have this great contrast in the image and we have a clear direction of where our eyes need to go. And also the color grade is pretty dope in my opinion. Over here we have a beautiful reflection shot of this little town called Lina over here in Belgium. As you can see we have a reflection of these buildings and this mountain over here. Yeah, reflection shots just usually look pretty good. Also it's shot during winter so I added this blue color grade and I feel like it really adds to the emotions and to the feeling of the image. The only thing that actually quite a bit bothers me is like these little leaves and dirt over here. So maybe I could have photoshopped it out to make it even better, but this is a pretty recent landscape photo I took in Etretta. And the reason why this photo works really well is because our eyes know where they need to go. Because there's this Fibonacci geometry thing going on over here, which draws our attention towards this cliff and this beach over here. And the fact that we have these beautiful blues going on over here, over here, and these darker oranges over here, adds for some great color contrast. So composition and color contrast really makes this image really great. Over here we have this boat going through the canal of Antwerp. And this one actually looks pretty cool because we have these cool lights hitting the water. And these actually make up for some leading lines that actually lead our eyes towards this water bus and also this skyline over here which makes for some cool geometrical shapes and just our eyes know where they need to go we have some dope blue hour vibes over here so some blues and some oranges and we have a pretty cool and clear subject over here over here we have in my opinion the perfect shot of palm trees it's just a basic lookup shot but for some reason the composition really works well and we have this beautiful light blue behind the palm trees and then we have these like greener colors in the, in the in the leaves themselves and it just really works well and it's just a really good photo it was one of my favorite photos of the thailand trip because yeah the colors are just so cool and we have like this contrast between the between the sky and these like darker clouds and it gives this like pretty cool image like this like over here we have the more darker orange tones and over here we have the more lighter blue tones that really adds to some great color contrast and then we have our clear subject over here but when i look back at it right now i feel like this right here is pretty distracting like the ropes of the boat and this over here is also pretty distracting as well so i feel like if i would have removed those things and this and this this photo would have worked way better. But besides all those things, I think this photo is really great. What I really like to do a lot of the times is to have a subject over here in front of the frame out of focus, like blurry. And this actually draws our attention towards the real subject that she is also looking at, which is the boat right here. So we have this like really cool leading lines and just this really cool out of focus element, which just add some depth to the photo. This one right here is a pretty obvious one why it worked. It's just a really cool monkey in his natural habitat. And also the fact that he has this like lighter colors and the background behind him is completely dark. So he really pops out from the background and yeah, it's just, it's just a cool image. Over here, we have a cool image of some people kayaking. We were also in a kayak as well. And why this one works really well is also because of the leading lines and because of the shapes again and over here we have this little negative space and because these parts are way darker and this part is way lighter we have some good contrast going on and our eyes immediately know where they need to look at which is our subject right here this is another photo of thailand and why i really like this photo is because of the scale because i have my girlfriend framed in front of the building you can really see that this building over here, that this statue is freaking huge in comparison to my girlfriend. I mean, it's just, it's just pretty clear. And adding scale to your photos 
can really help you emphasize something. Like for in this example, the size of this statue. Over here we have another street photo and I think this photo really works well because of the storytelling aspect once again. This looks like just some older people chilling at a cafe, drinking or eating something and just enjoying their pension and that they're just talking about something. Also the fact that I added this like more vintage looking color grade just makes this photo even look more timeless and more and more old school which i think looks pretty cool over here it's actually pretty much the same we have this pretty cool close-up shot of this guy over here and he has some really cool jacket on a yellow jacket and the color yellow always works to make your photos more interesting and the fact again that i added this really more like vintage effect preset which you can find in the description below if you want to get those as well just makes the photo even more cool. The reason why I like this photo so much is just because there is actually a lot going on, but it's not like too busy or too distracting in my opinion. Over here we have like some cool ducks and some more birds. And then we have like these people in a boat, just enjoying a boat trip, but in the rain, as you can see. So there's a lot of context to the photo. So we have these umbrellas and the fact that I added like this black and white edit just makes this photo look so timeless. And yeah, it just adds some really cool vibes to this image, which I really like. This is a photo I shot with a prism filter. And I think this one works really well because of the colors again. And also because we see this reflection of this sign over here, which actually draws the attention towards this man over here which I think looks really, really cool. And also we have this like older tram driving over here and these older buildings. And the fact that I added like this more vintage preset to it just really finishes and makes the photo even better. I also really like this photo I took because it was again shot with a prism filter. So we have some cool reflections going on over here. And also because just look at this woman over here. She's like giving me this stare of death <laughs> i don't know why she's staring like that at me but she's calm and all these other people are like busy living their lives and this woman is just sitting over here just staring at me i mean just look at it so yeah it just it's just really cool composition and even though it's pretty busy it gives this really cool emotion this photo also works really well because it's really minimal so there's a lot a lot of negative space and we have this out of focus seagull coming towards the moon which was obviously way further and it's not photoshopped of course but it's just a really cool image because it looks like the seagull is going to get the moon like it's going to eat it over here we have another street photo and it's pretty obvious why it actually works really well so we have these tram lines going on over here, which actually lead to our subject, which is over here. And then we also have some great contrast over here, the darker parts and over here, the lighter parts. Over here, we have this really cool blue hour sunset shot. And you can actually see the contour of a buddy of mine skateboarding over here with this lighter background. And obviously this, it's just clear where our eyes have to look because these parts are way darker and over here it's like lighter but then again we know that we have to look at this part and the color just look really good same for this photo we have these really dark contours of my buddies over here and then we have these lighter parts and these cool lights of these buildings over here in the middle and also the fact that it's shot during blue hour and sunset once again really makes this a really really great image this photo right here is shot during blue hour once again because obviously we have these really cool orange lights from these buildings. And then we also have these really cool lights from the ferry's wheel over here. And this was actually a long exposure shot. So yeah, the reflections and everything, it just looks really smooth and it just works really well in this photo. 